What's up guys, this is Gary Walker with liveanabolic.com. Today I'm gonna to give you a muscle building chest workout for guys over 40, all right? Great workout, the best part of it, it's only 30 minutes long. It's designed to annihilate your chest, so you're gonna get great benefits from doing this chest workout. We're gonna start off with a muscle activator or muscle primer, it's gonna be the plate squeezes. Don't know if you've done these before or not, but you're basically gonna get two plates together. Five pounds, 10 pounds, two pounds, 25 pounds, whatever you need to get those muscles activated, all right? I'm using two 10 pound plates. I already went through this workout earlier today, so I'm already, my muscles are a little exhausted, but I wanna go through these exercises with you to show you how to do them and make sure you get them done correctly, all right? First one we're gonna do, the muscle activator is the plate squeezes. So basically what you're doing, is you're going to squeeze the plates together as hard as possible, all right? And you're gonna do these for 10 to 12 reps. Squeezing. Constantly squeeze throughout the entire movement, all right? Don't just go through the motions. Make sure you're contracting that chest. Use these sets to get your mind muscle connection going. Focus on your chest doing all the work. All right. You're going to do these three times, all right? Like I said, I'm just going to walk through these with you, go through them once, show you what to do. Once you've got your muscle primed, we're going to go into the dumbbell. Incline press. If you'll notice the incline I have set, it's a little lower than typical. The traditional 45 degree angle is really hard on your shoulders, guys. Guys in your 40s, it's a little more difficult when you're doing high incline. So I typically prefer about 30 degrees. So and you want to make sure on these reps, you are controlling the negative portion and exploding on the way up, all right? Load. Control. Ten to twelve reps here as well. You go straight from the dumbbell incline press to the dumbbell floor flies. Don't know if you've done these before or not, but the main benefit to doing flies on the floor is once again, you're eliminating some of the stress from your shoulder joints. You're not allowing a full range of motion at the bottom, which is actually gonna be a little healthier for your shoulders, all right? So you're still gonna get the full benefits of the contraction, it's a lot easier on your shoulders. From this position, retract your shoulder blades. Elbows out and wide, down, and contract your chest. Make sure your chest is doing all the work here. All right, guys, like I said, I've already gone through this entire workout, done my three sets of 10 to 12. That's what I want you to do, all right? We just activated our muscles with the plate squeeze, went straight into the 
dumbbell incline press at a 30 degree angle. The dumbbell floor press, which is going to help stretch that, uh, that chest and get really good contractions at the top. We're going to go from that to a cable press. Not a cable crossover. Actually, you're going to be doing these on a functional trainer. You don't want to use an actual wide cable system. We're going to use more narrow handles. It's a little, again, easier on your shoulder joints. And this is more of a press as opposed to the traditional cable fly, cable crossover. What you're going to do here, I like a 90 degree angle at my elbows. Focus on a good stretch at the top. Good hard contraction at the bottom. Good stretch. And what you're going to do is press down and then adduct into the middle at the bottom. That's what your chest is designed to do. Complete adduction, horizontal adduction, just like that. So good stretch, press and squeeze. Do one continuous motion. Focus on those good hard contractions at the bottom. You want to alleviate a little shoulder stress here as well. You can rotate your arms back, your wrists this way, at the back, back end. It will take some of the stress off your shoulders. All right, that is the cable press. The thing we're going to do next, the last exercise in this little round, is going to be the dips. All right, you're going to do dips, but what I want you to focus on on the dips, you actually want to place all the emphasis on the chest and take it away from your triceps. To do that, you don't want to be completely upright. You actually want to lean forward, okay? So what we're going to do with the dip, you want to lean forward, Rotate your elbows out slightly. That's going to help you stretch your chest at the bottom and contract it at the top, all right? Same thing here. You're going to want to do 10 to 12 reps. Good stretch at the bottom. Good lean. Good contraction. Just like that. Nice and slow on the descent and explode up. So, all right, guys, that's what you want to do. You actually want to go through each one of these three times. You want to get three sets of plate squeezes, get the muscles primed and ready for the workout, three sets of dumbbell incline presses. You want to rest about 60 to, ni 60 to 90 seconds between each set, all right? Allow your muscles enough time to recover to do the next set. You want to make sure you're working with effective sets. You don't want to struggle to get through any of those. So 60 to 90 seconds, and then just follow every exercise. The next four, just like that. Again, first one is just the primer. The next ones are going to build all that muscle that you need. So all right, guys, comment below. Let me know what you think of the workout. Also, guys, if you're over 40 and you want more muscle building tips, fat loss tips to help you get big, strong, lean, regardless of your age, man, then go to the link below this video, enter your email address, and I will send over my free report, 11 ways to build muscle up to 40. All right, guys, get this workout done, get busy, get after it, and God bless.